know, but be up front with me, okay? Now, it's got to be a gas, being a football hero. It's okay. No, 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 come on. I've been on many campuses before. How I know you. They take I mean, there have to be girls well, falling anytime all Frisco over gets off a roll. It'd be a lot easier today. if I could sing like you. <laughs> Do you hear that out there? I like this guy. <laughs> Cut for a second, guy. Tino, hey, we got a light up here, brother. You want to fix that for me? Hey, brother. Be right back. Hey, man, thanks for showing up today. How you yeah, doing? Tall. I've never seen a guy so nervous about getting married. I'll be through with this in a minute. We'll get together. Okay, great. Thanks, Tino. Give me the word. Uh, we're ready. Go. Okay, we've been talking to, to Larry Richards here. He's, uh, he's the football champion. Let me take that again, please. One more time? Yeah. Okay, and go. Listen, it's been a real pleasure talking with you, Larry. Anytime. We're talking with uh, Larry Richards here. He is the uh, number one quarterback of the Port Charles Devils. I expect to see you out there with the pros next year, okay? <laughs> now, don't go away now. I'm going to come back and do a tune for you real quick. And cut. Okay, good job. It's been my pleasure. Hey, Jerry, you want to do me a favor? Take him to Derek's office. He'd probably want to talk sure. to him. Price this way. What a hot segment, brother. I could do this all day. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. I, I need to talk to you for a second. Okay, what's up? What's the matter? Dad's dead. in San Francisco. It was a heart attack, and Frisco, they said it went quick. I just think that we ought to go up there. I don't, I don't give a damn. Two of the special report came to you from ABC News. We now resume. It's about time. I was lying down in the bedroom. I was standing up at the student union. I mean, I was stood up. Felicia. We had a date, remember? What's wrong? My father died last night. Oh, Frisco. Yeah. What happened? Was he ill? I had a heart attack. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Why should I lie about it? You can't mean that. Did you know him? Frisco. Take it from me. I knew him. He felt the same way about me. Feel better? I know you had a falling out with him once, but... It's unnatural to be so calloused about his death. What is with all these generalizations? I know you. Well, I know me too, and I knew him. And believe me, what I'm feeling now... or what I'm not feeling... Perfectly understandable. But your father. Felicia, I've never heard you talk about your father once since we've known each other. Well, that's different. I I didn't know him very well. He traveled around a lot. He was more like father There's figure. There's no law that says you have to love him, is there? I did. I felt a great sense of mourning at his funeral. Yeah. Well, funerals aren't my scene, especially this one. There's reasons for funerals. Yeah, bury the dead people. They're for the living. People need to grieve. Sounds like the gospel according to my brother, Tony. Have you eaten anything? No. Well, that's another important thing for life, too, is food. I'll fix you something. Do you want some ham and eggs? No, I don't bother. I'm not hungry. Well, I'll fix something anyway. I'm hungry. And, uh, maybe it'll be contagious. I was only gonna say that if you didn't go, you'll always regret it, Priscilla. Yeah, I'll take that chance. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, he's here. I'll get him. It's the station manager. They're taping the show in a half an hour. No. Frisco asked me to let you know there's been a death in his family. His father, yes. 
I'll tell him I certainly will. Um, get, uh, the boss on the phone. You'd ask for Derek Barrington. Well, one more thing. Is Mr. Barrington there? Okay, thank you. Where the hell is he? He's in New York for the day. On business. The station manager sends his condolences. Do uh. you want to go for a walk? No, I'm wasting your time, kid. I don't care. It's my time. I'm taking advantage of it. Well, you ought to be hitting the books, then. I've made up my mind. Besides, I owe you some time. For what? For a lot of things. Like, for staying in your apartment. For protecting me in the Pullman car. From saving me from the clutches of Van What's-His-Name. Coming down to Mexico with me and helping me through that whole ordeal. In other words, you helped me whenever I needed you. No, you're in trouble. No, you're in trouble. I'm, I'm here for you now. And, uh, Felicia, this is, um, this is something that I can only deal with myself. Okay? There's something bad going on inside of you, and I want to help. Honey. It's something that... Um, um, what are you doing? I'm walking you to the door. Frisco? No, please, I, I have to be alone. Please. Just... 